Hi everyone, today I will show you how to open up the Sony 50mm FE lens. This is the cheap version, I think it costs about $250 and mine has a huge, huge, I can't really tell what it is in it. So I've got a little piece of something in it and my solution is either to sell it for 100 euros or open it up, clean it and sell it for 130 euros, hopefully. Obviously it's a risk and I'm probably not gonna be able to sell it for that much afterwards because I have to take it apart. Big risk and a big thanks to Lens Rental who uh, actually answered my mail because I couldn't find any videos online on how to open up a Sony lens. And my guess was I had to remove this plastic or this um, sticker here and uh, kindly enough they told me, hey, don't do this, but if you're gonna do this, yes, this is the way to do it. You have to take off, you have to heat it up. So I bought a heat gun and I'm about to try this for you guys. This is not my normal setup, but I really wanted to, well, show you guys how to do it and uh, what not to do if I mess up. I really looked online everywhere, couldn't find a video that showed how to do it. All right, so this is what I had to start with. Um, this is going to be a disaster, I can tell you already. My goal is to remove the first ring on top. There's a sort of plastic ring that some lenses like Nikons have that you can just remove and access a few notches that are used to unscrew the rest of it. A few moments later. And this is what had happened after attempting to heat up this area uh, of the lens and it warped, totally warped, and I couldn't get it off. I was really hoping that I could access the top of the lens because it's much easier. There's no electronics there, or at least not, not, not that I know of, but I fully failed on that one. So I tried heating up again, again and again, and prying it open, just could not do it. So I ended up having to access the lens from the back. And the very first action that I did to try to open it up is to unscrew the plastic cover on top because a lot of lenses, even modern ones, have this plastic cover that you can just easily unscrew or even a tape ring around the lens, the top of the lens that you can just get rid of and access the lens from the front. This one, unfortunately, did not. And I tried everything, when I say everything, before attempting to open it from the rear. I have a 28 millimeter F2 Sony lens that's laying around, that's broken, that I could compare it to, but unfortunately they're not built the same way. So it did not help me whatsoever into trying to figure out how to open this lens. Here they are side by side. So I use the PH00 normal Phillips screwdriver to open the back of the lens because that's the only solution that I had. So I'm gonna fast forward this because all you have to do is unscrew the four screws that are in the back. And watch out when opening the top of the cover because there's a ribbon, electronic ribbon connected to the lens. So be careful and you need to unlock this lock mechanism, I would use a plastic uh, prior or something like that and just make sure that it's, it is clicked like that. So I lift it up and this should easily come off now. Just like that. And now you can see why I dreaded opening this lens from the back and you can also see the piece of hair or something inside the lens. It is pretty thick and long, I would say, uh, for some dust. So it's probably something else. So at this point, my camera stopped recording. I don't know why, but it was pretty simple. I just had to unscrew those two screws on top and make sure that I unlocked or unconnected those ribbons that are going down on the bottom of this lens. All right, so this is the evolution of it. I got rid of this plastic cover and the logic board. I'll call it the logic board. I don't know what it is. This green logic board. And this is what the lens looks like without the cover and the logic board. 
I took two more screws off of this plastic cover. And let me show you every pieces that I took off, sort of by order, except the last two pieces. I got rid of the little plastic cover before getting rid of the plastic cylinder. And now comes the fun part. Will I be able to remove this lens by either popping it out or unscrewing it like some lenses do? Or will I fail? Let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. Well, the quick answer and the only answer valid is no, I did not uh, succeed. I failed, totally failed. I try using duct tape, um, double-sided tape to pop it out or unscrew it, but nothing was giving. So I did not want to force it and lose, you know, that much money. Uh, I would. I'm still hoping that I'll be able to put it back together and resell it. So, yep, I failed. People, I don't know how to access those inside of the lens. So if you think you can do better than me, go ahead. But I do not recommend trying this at home with your lens. The only good news in this story is that I managed to put the lens back together and resell it for 50 euros to someone that I warned what I did with it. And um, the focusing is working, the aperture is working. It just looks like crap now. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button. It really helps. Leave me a comment below to help with the algorithm. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you want me to open more lenses like this one or kill more lenses like this one.